Hello everyone, my name is Angelo Lascaris and I'm currently a 30 year PhD student studying history here at York University under the supervision of Professor Sakis Gekas. It is an honor to be here today to thank you all for your contributions in making the HHF Creek Canadian Archives possible. Before presenting the project, I would like to formally thank the Hellenic Heritage Foundation and all their sponsors and donors, as well as York University in promoting, funding, and encouraging this research to be conducted. I would also like to thank Professors Gekas, Molos, and Grafos for the opportunity to have this project be archived under the Greek Canadian Archives and for their guidance. Thank you. This project analyzes the life histories of Greek Canadians who were born in Greece during the mid to late 1920s and 1930s to document their experiences. Childhood Narratives of Greek Canadians from the 1940s aims to evaluate the effects of trauma and resilience through the events of the 1940s in Greece to critically reflect on memory 80 years later. The research contributes a transnational, transmigration perspective to the historiography. It reveals how memories and ethnic identities can expand beyond borders to create a community of those who may share the same experiences, traumas, and identities. I don't want to indulge too much into the historiography and methodologies here this afternoon. We will save that for the conference tomorrow. What is essential to state is how honored and grateful I am to have met so many wonderful individuals and families who not only welcomed me into their homes, but also entrusted me to document some of the most traumatic events from their childhood years. The image on the left is interviewee Maria Delidakis Vredzos, photographed at a young age in the early 1940s. And on the right is a photograph of the Siligardakis family in 1943 approximately, taken following the execution of their father and husband by the Nazis. The interview participant is Emmanuel Manoli Siligardakis, top right. Both Mrs. Bredzos and Mr. Siligardakis are two out of 40 participants who kindly shared their childhood memories and experiences for my study and for the archive. Meeting individuals all across the GTA and Montreal has made me appreciate their sacrifices and contributions as Greek Canadians in shaping a diasporic community that I'm fortunate to be a part of. Αυτό που είναι σημαντικό είναι να εκφράσω την τιμή και ευγνωμοσύνη μου για τους τόσους πολλούς υπέροχους ανθρώπους και οικογένειές τους που γνώρισα. Όχι μόνο με καλωσόρισαν στα σπίτια τους, αλλά επίσης μου εμπιστευτήκαν να καταγράψω μερικά από τα πιο τραυματικά γεγονότα από τα παιδικά τους χρόνια. Η συνάντησή μου με τους Έλληνο-Καναδούς της περιοχής του Τωράντο και στο Μάντρεαλ με έκανε να εκτιμήσω τις θυσίες και τη συνεσφορά τους στη διαμόρφωση μίας διασπορικής κοινότητας στην οποία αισθάνομαι περήφανος που συμμετέχω. The 1940s in Greece was a decade unlike no other across the European continent. This beautiful Mediterranean nation succumbed to Italian, Nazi, and Bulgarian occupations after a hard-fought resistance, the longest across Europe, 219 days to be exact. Subsequently, famine ravished through the population, and to make the decade even worse, a civil war engulfed the state, lasting until 1949. The children and adolescents who survived this decade, and later immigrating to Canada, characterized these years to me as full of fear, suffering, starvation, just a terrible 10 years. This research, as you will see in a moment, is priceless, and is the last time this form of oral history can be completed and preserved based on this decade in Greece from Greek Canadians. I would like to formally recognize and thank the participants of the 1940s project that are here today along with their families. On behalf of the HHF Greek Canadian Archives and myself, we would like to acknowledge your contributions and formally thank you for your time and willingness to share your personal history and legacy with me and for the world to listen, 
watch, reflect, and appreciate. I would also like to formally thank the participants of the study who were not able to be here with us today in person as well. I would also like to recognize two participants of the project who have left us physically just recently, Mr. Theodore Trakas and Mr. John Chlorakos. The late Mr. Trakas is so far the oldest participant to partake in the study, being interviewed at 99 years of age and unfortunately passing right before his 100th birthday this past December. The late Mr. John Chlorakos was 93 years of age following his interview and just passed last month. Mr. Traka served during the Second World War and later in the resistance. In the interview, he vividly recounts his efforts in blowing up bridges to prevent the Nazi army from moving inwards in the Peloponnese to aiding and hiding a British intelligence service agent in his home in Anavritos, Arcadia. Thanks to the support of the Hellenic Heritage Foundation and York University, the legacies, memories, and stories of 40 individuals and counting will be forever preserved here in this building, the Clara Thomas Archives, and digitally at the HHF Greek Canadian Archives.